A hand sanitizer seller in Nigeria tests positive for coronavirus. In South Africa, a man is tasered to death while going to buy beer. Now, bringing back to East Africa, Ugandan President Yoweri Kagutum 70 has declared a 14 day no movement total lockdown in the country. While in Kenya, the government just announced that Kenyans should brace themselves for at least 10,000 coronavirus cases by the end of April. And still in Kenya, international Kenyan based marathoner Eliud Kipchoge has been trending on social media. Now, this is because of wearing what Kenyans call the most expensive clothes a Kenyan has ever worn, including this 190,000 Kenyan shilling t-shirt. Yeah, let's talk about that. Hey, what's up guys? I'm XD and Della. Well, today a hand sanitizer seller in Nigeria has tested positive for coronavirus. Now, Nigerians have taken to social media to actually applaud this lady for getting coronavirus because she's leaving true by the word that a dealer should never consume their own product. This comes after the country's Minister of Health, Osagi Emmanuel Ehanire, said that the country currently has 111 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Now, one new death was reported in the past 24 hours, bringing the total number of deaths in Nigeria to, to now most of these cases have been reported in Lagos 68 to be exact and remember last week uh, Lagos said the governor uh, Babajide Sonu Olo declared that, that uh, Lagos will be going on a seven day lockdown. Now guys on social media, Nigerians on social media have not welcomed this news very well and the country is actually just trying to do each and everything it can do to make sure they limit the spread of coronavirus. In South Africa, a man in raves with Cape Town today has been tasered to death by the police while going to buy beer. Now last week, the Minister of Police in South Africa, Becky Sele, announced that the sale, production and transportation of beer has been banned during the lockdown period. Now today is the fourth day of the lockdown and South Africans are not actually respecting the law and they don't want the lockdown. Now this comes after the South African president Cyril Ramaphosa today just addressing the nation. He said that the country has 1,326 confirmed cases of COVID-19. Currently, uh, the country just also reported I think one new case today, bringing the total number of deaths to three. Uh, seven people are currently under critical condition in South Africa. Now, the government is trying to do as much as it can to control the movement, to control the spread of coronavirus because South Africa is the worst hit country in Africa. It's actually the epicenter of coronavirus in the country and the government is not leaving any stone unturned. Now, bringing back to East Africa, Ugandan President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni has this evening declared a 14-day no movement total lockdown in the country. Now, this comes after the country just recorded 33 confirmed cases of coronavirus and the president is not taking this matter lightly. In a press briefing to the media today, Museveni said uh, the reason as to why he reached to this point of a lockdown is because private car owners in Uganda have been using their vehicles for public transport means and this is why this virus has been spreading in Uganda. Now total lockdown in Uganda means vehicles are not moving, border borders, buses, uh, minibuses, nothing is literally moving in Uganda for the next 14 days. Now in a press briefing, the same press briefing Ugandan President Museveni said that business people, politicians and basically anyone who feels sufficiently philanthropic enough in Uganda to give out food to give out money will be arrested and charged with attempted murder. Now his reasoning behind this is because now these people will be attracting a huge crowd of people when they're dishing out the money, when they're dishing out the food and this is not allowed in Uganda. A lot of Ugandans took to social media to vent their frustration citing that it will be hard for them to pay rent next month or rather this month because they'll not be working. It is really hard in Uganda. But tell me what you think on the comment section below. What do you think about the whole lockdown uh, thing in Uganda? Uganda, what Museveni has done, please tell me on the comment section below. But bringing back to the motherland, bringing back to the homeland in Kenya today, the Ministry of Health Director General Patrick Amoth today announced to the country that the country should brace itself for at least 10,000 confirmed cases by the end of April. Now, this comes after the Cabinet Secretary of Health, CS Mutai Kagwe, announced eight new confirmed cases of coronavirus in the country, bringing the total to 50. Now, in the 50, 37 of the confirmed cases are from Nairobi, uh, six are from Kilifi, four in Mombasa, one in Kajiado, one in Kwale, and one in Kitui bring the total number uh, to 50. Now, Kenyans still do not understand and do not believe that coronavirus is a thing. Because I saw in the media today a section of people in Wasinkishu County were actually protesting, not wanting to go back home. And I'm like, guys, are you serious? 
Coronavirus is here. It's, it's, it's actually real. You see, according to the estimates given by the director general, you see, if he said mid mid February, we should be ex expecting around 5,000 confirmed cases. The numbers are shocking. The statistics are crazy. So guys, if you're watching this right now, if you're actually seeing me, if you're watching this video, the only thing I can pray, guys, please, let's work together to stop the spread of coronavirus. If you can work from home, please stay home. Because honestly speaking, guys, I think I'm bored staying indoors, man. Like, bruh. I want to go back doing events, man. I want to go back to my normal life. It's it's really boring. It's frustrating. A lot of people do not have jobs. The guys are not making money. It's 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 sad. It's crazy. Guys, let's work together, man. Please, let's just work together. Now, still in Kenya, international marathon, Eldorado based marathon, Mr. Inio's face himself, uh, Elliot Kipchoge, has been trending on social media in Kenya. Now, this is because this guy. Uh, did an interview with one of the biggest magazine, fashion magazine brands in the world, that is GQ magazine, dressed by international American-based Nigerian fashion stylist, like this super, super stylist, Mbola Jiolujumida Wodu, during his shoot. And you see, a lot of Kenyans were um, really proud for Elliot Kipchoge for being on the magazine and everything. But then again, when we started looking at the prices of what he was wearing, I was like, oh my goodness. Now, Elliot Kipchoge was dressed by some of the biggest fashion brands in the world, including Dior, Jacques Marimage, Bresciani, Roches, Gucci, and of course, some Italian, Hermenegildo, Zenia. You see, most of you guys might not have ever heard about these brands. They might not know how big these brands are and how expensive they are. Let me just break it down to you guys according to what he wore. So let's do this. Elliot Kipchoge is wearing a 2,665 Isemiyaki for men coat. The pants are from Nike, going for 80 US dollars, and the shoes are from Roches going for 425 US dollars. Now look at this next picture. You most of you might see it as cheap, Naga Zangara, looking for like guys things from you can you can get from I don't know Quare or whatever you can get. But just look at the pricing. Now, now the t-shirt and the pants come from a French designer known as Thierry Armes. Now let's talk about the t-shirt. Now the t-shirt goes for a whooping 1850 US dollars. Now let me even stress you the more. The pants go for a crazy 5,200 US dollars. <laughs> hey, bruh. <laughs> like, bruh, that, that's a car. That's a car. 5,200. <laughs> now, the shoes are from Gucci going for 980 US dollars. The socks go for a crazy 3,700 Kenyan shillings, 37 US dollars. And they're from Breshan. Yes. Finally, the glasses are from Jacques Marimage and they go for a whooping 895 US dollars. Chai! Father God. <laughs> <laughs> so guys on social media have actually gone on a roll. Uh, they were really proud that uh, uh, Elliot Kipchoge was on GQ magazine, rather he's on GQ magazine for men. But a lot of people are questioning whether they can buy those clothes. But tell me on the comment section below, can you buy this clothes at such a price at XTN Della on Instagram? Yeah, let's keep the conversation going. See you guys on the next one. At XTN Della.